Hello guys, welcome back to the course. In this chapter, we will create high poly of this fire hydrant from our block out. So let's pick it up where we have left. First of all, just go to modifier and add a subdivision surface modifier to it. Right click and shade it smooth. Now let's go to edit mode. And now we have to add supporting edge loops. Make sure that every corner edge has its supporting loop. For example, this is a corner edge. Press slash to go in local view mode and press number pad on your keyboard to zoom into your selection. I delete this edge, we don't need that. So this is a corner edge. So I'm gonna hit I to insert an edge loop on top of it and I'm gonna press Ctrl R to add an edge loop below it. So this, this corner edge has its pair of supporting loops which is this one and this one. For example, this is also a corner edge below here. So I'm gonna go add an edge loop here and here. So we have to do this for each corner edges. Increase your levels for subdivision for viewport also to 2. Now you have to just keep adding supporting edge loops for every corner edge like I am doing right now. Alright, we have to do the same with here. Now if you have these type of edge loops, you can press E to get a yellow line and you can see a red dot on top of this yellow line. You can flip this dot by pressing F. But this dot means is where this dot is your edge loop will gain the shape of that area. So in this moment the dot is at the top of the yellow line. So if I move this edge loop to at the top it will make its shape according to that loop. And if I hit F and flip the dot and now if I move my edge loop down it will regain this shape. So in this case I am going to press F and drop the edge loop here. Same press E and F. All right. Let's come here, press E and F, make sure to watch the reference for the shape of it. It's a pretty smooth transition, so I think this edge loop is not needed here. One loop will be needing here and one here also. This is also not a hard transition, so I am leaving this, I'm leaving this edge as well. And for here just insert it like this, add an edge loop here. Let's come here. Press E and F. This is also a pretty smooth transition. So I'm leaving this till about there. All right. Okay. Not there. Not there. Press E and F. Press E here. And all right. Uh, press slash to get out of the local view mode. Now let's select these parts and press slash again. And I am going to use bevels for them. So I'm going to select one of these and go to edit mode. Select all of them. Press Control B and move it and increase the segments while scrolling and i guess these many segments are just fine now i'm gonna shade them smooth and i'm gonna do that for all of these as well just go to edit mode hit ctrl b and i guess these are fine yes all right bolts already have that bevel so i guess bolts will work just like that i guess these i guess this one can be scaled up a bit Okay, if your scaling is behaving like this, make sure to change your pivot back to median point. Now if you scale this, it will look fine. I'm gonna scale it, but I'm gonna hit shift Z to not scale it along Z axis. Maybe a bit. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Let me just double tap G on this edge loop to move, slide it like this. Alright, this looks fine to me. So this was the chapter 2 of this course and in the next chapter we will unwrap this fire hydrant so I'll see you there.